Okay. I'm doing this. This is weird. Uh, I don't really know how to start this off. I don't know how to begin, so I guess I'll just start off by kind of explaining it from the beginning, which is like, I don't know, three years ago, pretty much, maybe two, pretty much three. So most of you guys know me as, you know, the Madden guy, and that's really what I was for a large majority of my life. Um, and I got to a point in Madden 21, 22. I, at this point, it's some so far removed. I honestly forget. Um, I believe it was Madden 22. I was a couple months in and I was not having fun. I was not enjoying it. It felt like a job. It felt like a literal job. It didn't feel like I was enjoying it or having fun. It was just something I felt like I was um, being forced to do like every single day, which is not a bad thing. It's just if I'm going to do something that I needed to be forced to do, I didn't want it to be this. I really didn't. And also, I'm just going to preemptively say I'm sorry. I'm so bad at making these like long form videos at this point that I'm going to probably be all over the place, but I'm going to try to be as concise as possible and go through the timeline. I've literally wrote down a couple notes from my phone, um, just like so that I can go down the list of everything that happened. So I got to the point where I was, I was kind of done with YouTube. Like I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't enjoying it. I didn't want to do it anymore. And I was looking for a way out. I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't like this. What can I do? What should I do? And I always had this idea in the back of my mind um, that in some other lifetime, in some other universe, that I would have gone to law school. That was like a thought in my mind. Um, and my parents and my brother and my whole family were super supportive of me. And they were like, you know, Mike, you can still do that you can still go to law school. And I'm like, ah, I'm so old. I'm 26 years old. At the time I was 26 or maybe I was 27. I think I was 26 before any of this even started. Like I'm 26 years old. I can't go to law school. I can't go back to school. I don't want to do that. And they were like, no, you like, you definitely can't. Like, if you want to do that, you should look into that. And so then it took me like a day. It took me like literally a day to be like, fuck yeah. Like, let's do this shit. I remember the day. Like, I fully remember the day. I think it was um, 2021. I think it was October 31st. It was a Halloween. Um, I was literally at my, my grandparents' house, and I was sitting with uh, my cousin, my brother, and, uh, you know, they were talking about some stuff. My cousin uh, is in law school. He actually just graduated. Congrats, Trevor. Um, he was talking about some stuff, and I just remember thinking, like, fuck, that sounds awesome. Like, <laughs> like that sounds incredible. Like I want that. And the moment that that like thought entered my mind of, I want that there was, it was done. It was 100% done. It was, that's what I was going to do. So that was October 31st. I remember, you know, my parents driving me back to my apartment and, uh, you know, I, I, I mentioned it to them and they were like, I'll just take some time to think about it. Cause it's a, you know, it's a big decision and you know, it's a, it's a major, it's a major life altering move right I mean I literally am in this social media space and then I do a complete 180 um to the legal field and I took I took one night to think about it woke up the next morning and I was even more excited to get started and so that's all it was then at that point you guys can honestly probably go back to my channel like the November of 2021 um, yeah, it was Madden 22. Okay. So it was November of 2021 on, I didn't post any Madden videos. I was done. Um, everything, everything that I was focused on was just getting into a law school. So I remember, um, studying for this thing called the LSAT, um, which is like a test that you need to do well on to actually get into a law school. And I needed to do extra well on it. Cause my undergrad grades weren't like incredible. Um, and so I remember studying for that for like two months or so, which I, like my timeline was so short. Like I, people normally study for that test for like, you know, like I know people that study for it for five months, six months. I know people that study for it for a year. 
I gave myself two months to study for that test. I was so locked in, ready, um, and I eventually did good enough to apply to the exact school that I wanted to go to, which was St. Louis University. I'm born and raised in St. Louis. I, I really love this town. I love this spot, and uh, it was a place that I that I wanted to be. I wanted to go there. Um, I applied, and I got in. Um, I remember the day that I got in. I remember. Um, I, it was a, we had a, a little tour and, um, one of the admissions people was walking me around, showing me all this stuff. And, uh, literally later that day, I got an email saying that I was admitted, which was an incredible feeling. Um, it really was. And at that time, um, I was still super nervous because you got to remember like the way that my life had been going, it was like nonstop, 100% social media, Madden, online stuff literally like 100% of the time like that's all I had known that was all I had even thought of or considered as what I was going to do for my career um, since I was like 17 years old or 18 years old like I had been so fully locked in on that Um, and so when I started law school I was extra I mean I was dummy nervous like seriously I I I literally remember I could probably um, I'm not going to because I don't give a fuck, but I could probably pull up screenshots on my phone. I literally screenshotted the dates that I could withdraw and get all my money back. That's how nervous I was. I literally had those dates screenshotted in my phone. And uh, I got to the point where it was just, you kept doing the stuff, you kept doing the stuff, and I was really starting to get it. I was just starting to understand it. And I really, I, 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 I said, fuck it, I'm, I'm, I'm too far in. I'm not stopping now. So I kept on. I remember there was a, you know, like a midterm that I had for this class torts. It's I'm not even going to try to explain it, but it's like civil wrongs. Let's just say that's, that's how we're going to explain it. Um, and I had this midterm and, uh, you know, I, I tried really hard on it and I got like the, you know, it wasn't like graded, but they gave you, you know, like not pass, like low pass, pass like medium pass and then like high pass or something like that and I got a high pass and I was like holy fuck like I actually know what I'm doing like this is I'm not just some fucking idiot like I know what I'm doing and from that moment on I was like yeah this is it this is what I want to do and uh I had still kind of in the back of my mind thought to myself well, maybe I could return to YouTube. Maybe I could do a video here and there. And I think it's like I like had to tell myself that because it was such a drastic change to go from literally uploading YouTube videos in your room every single day to like leaving the house every single day, going to law school, being with a fuck ton of people. Like it was a complete 180 shift in my life. Like literally me now versus me three years ago is fucking insane. It's, it's, it's insane. Um, and so in my mind, I, I kind of always told myself, well, Hey Mike, if you want to, if you want to upload Madden videos, you can, I think I literally even had a plan and I had an editor almost like ready to go. Um, the start of my one L year. So the start of, of my year in law school where I was going to, uh, record videos. I think I literally had like three or four recorded. Um, and I would record them like all, all my free times during the week, which was not a lot really if at all um and then on the weekends and I would send them to to this editor and then he would edit them and I never ended up doing that because what uh what my parents knew and what they didn't tell me and they didn't tell me this because they they didn't want me to be so closed off is that it's very hard to find that much free time in that first year of law school like it's almost impossible like I, I mean to just put it in perspective, um, I would, you know, at first I would get there at like nine in the morning and leave at like five or six. I would be there all day and then I'd come back home and I'd probably have more homework to do, more reading and whatnot. Um, but it got to the point where I was so locked in everything. I would get there at like when the school opened. So like 6 a.m. or like 6.30 most of the time. Uh, I'd get there at 6 a.m. I'd have a class at nine. I'd read before my class, read after my class, whatever. Um, and then I would be there until like five. So I I pretty much have 11, uh, or 12 hour days every day of that first semester. I I would say like Monday through, I would say Monday through Thursday, Friday was a little shorter. And then Saturdays and Sundays, I was, I would go up to the school again. Um, I just drive up there and get my work done, but 
enough about like actual law school. You guys probably want to know like the process of everything to happen. So that was my 1L year. Um, and then after my 1L year, you have like your summer jobs, like your summer internships. And I was lucky enough and blessed enough to work for a prosecutor's office. Um, and this was something that I honestly thought that I would do when I entered law school. I was like, I want to do criminal law stuff. Like I want to be involved um, like in a trial. I want to be in a courtroom. I felt like my presence online, like my ability to talk um, and my ability to like recognize that I'm talking to somebody. Like right now I'm talking to a camera, but really I know that I'm talking to a person. Um, I felt like that skill that I had would translate really well to trial. Um, and it, it does. I, I feel like it does. Um, and I was lucky enough to work for the prosecutors over the summer. Then uh, that transitions me into my 2L year, um, which is the year that I just had. And my 2L year was literally, I mean, I, I, mean, I would say probably was the best year of my life. Uh, my 1L year, I would say at that, my 1L year was the best year of my life. And then my 2L year, I think topped everything. Um, I, I I had a lot of really good friendships. I feel like a lot of my friendships and just relationships in general just got really close um, with, uh, you know, a, a, a select group of people and some specific people like just got really close. And I feel like it's relationships that I'm going to have for like the literal rest of my life. Like I, I couldn't see my life without these people. And um, it's like, you know, I get emotional thinking about it, but it's seriously fucking incredible like it's a like it's a legitimate blessing from god <laughs> that i just stumbled upon like the best people ever um and 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 they helped me get through and just i'm not going to name drop anybody because i don't want to do that um also i don't know if they would want me to do that um but i mean you know who you are and it's been my 2l year was fucking incredible um I'll throw a couple pictures up. Um, probably the highlight, probably the highlight of my of my 2L year was I was in this uh, class called trial advocacy, which is essentially where you get a case and then you try it. You know, you have a partner that you work with, your co-counsel, um, and then you go against two other people and you have witnesses and you prepare opening statements and you cross-examine witnesses and you do all that stuff. Um, and you you go through a full fledged trial, um, and the person that I worked with was like literally the best ever. She's incredible, um, and it was one hundred percent like the highlight of probably. I mean, I was it was definitely the highlight of my last year. It was definitely the highlight of my law school. I would argue that like that day and just that experience um, with you know this person was like the highlight of. I, I don't want to say my life because that's a little dramatic, um, but it was incredible. Um, it was everything that I could have ever imagined. Um, it was just fucking, it was the best. It gave me life. Like I felt like it gave me purpose. It gave me everything. Um, and so that was pretty much my 2L year. And then now um, over the summer, I'm working again at a prosecutor's office um, and I'm going to get to continue to do all of the shit that I fucking love that gives me purpose and and I don't know it just gives me life and that's kind of now I feel like I've I've said the timeline pretty accurately up to now um and so I guess now I'll really talk about why I left YouTube rather than just what's happened because I know a lot of people want to know what happened but then the next question that would make sense to ask is why why, why, why would you do that? And I'll talk about a couple things. So first off, what I'll say, um, and this is, I swear to God, I hear this all over the internet all the time. And I think sometimes people, let me just say what I was going to say. So people say, you know, like money doesn't make you happy. Um, and, and that is 100% true. Okay, that's 100% true. I feel like people say that in like a disingenuous way a lot of the time as like a weird, subtle flex. I, I see it so much. People be like, listen, man, money doesn't make you happy as I'm fucking flexing my goddamn fucking Cartier watch, my fucking Rolex, my fucking 
up attack like whatever like i feel like it's a weird flex that that people do um and so i'm gonna try my very fucking hardest to not do that um but what i will say is that money i'm not even gonna say money doesn't make you happy because while i believe that's true i think it could make some people happy i feel like making money doesn't give you purpose and i feel like a life without purpose is a life with no meaning and then if there's no meaning to your life what, what are you doing what are you doing you're just on this spinning rock going through the motions doing random shit with no purpose with no meaning it sucks because then once you kind of realize oh fuck i'm just kind of like doing stuff right now like i'm like doing stuff and i'm like getting money so that i can just like do other things it's a weird realization um and I'm only speaking from from my personal experience. I'm not speaking for anybody else. Some people might derive incredible purpose from YouTube, and that's perfectly fine. And and you, it's true that there, there is a lot of purpose in that. Um, it just wasn't for me. Um, I I felt like I wasn't doing enough with um, all of the the tools and the gifts that um, you know my parents were were able to to teach me and. God was able to give me and I, I felt like I wasn't doing enough. I really did. I'm like, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm able to help these people through YouTube. I'm able to, I don't know, feel like I'm doing good, but it's not enough. And I wanted to do more. I felt like my life had no purpose. I felt like I was waking up and I was fucking playing Madden and I was uploading YouTube videos and I might make some kids days better, which was the whole fucking reason why I was still doing it all these years later because god knows i didn't give a fuck about madden respectfully um i i mean i i cared about playing it a little bit i liked the creative process but i really just did it because i felt like i was doing good um and then i started to realize like i don't know like it i i didn't feel any sort of purpose like i'm just like what am i doing with my life right now i'm like 26 years old there's no way this is what it is there's no way this is it for me even if I, I was like, let, let's let's aggregate everything that could potentially happen. Let's say I fucking I have five million subscribers. Is that gonna is that gonna give me purpose? Is that gonna make me feel like I'm waking up in the morning to do something that's gonna make the world a better place? And I was like, no, I don't think it will. And I just that's just how it was for me. Okay, so I like I said, I'm not. I'm not speaking for anybody else, and I know so many people in the man community that are fucking incredible, that do a great job, and they make so many people's lives better, so I'm not speaking for them. I'm literally only speaking for me and my fucking little peanut small brain. It wasn't enough. It was not enough for me. I needed to do more, and I felt like law school was, was I felt like the law was my avenue to get there. Um, and that's why what I'm doing now, prosecutor work, I feel good about it. I feel good about what I'm doing. Um, and I don't need to get into my work and, and what really I do right now. Because that's a, another conversation for another time. Um, but that's the real reason why I stopped. Um, why I stopped uploading. Why I stopped caring. Because um, I felt like I was just going through the motions of life to upload YouTube videos to make money and who gives a fuck about that honestly who does um and man I mean I gave up a lot but so so this is what I'll say right and I don't I re I don't talk about money very much and it's like weird how some how I get why people don't talk about it like in the Madden community and everything because it's like you don't want to seem like you're flexing. Um, but let me tell you, I am not, I have, I do not have money. I am fucking not rich at all. I'm literally a law student. So I can say this full well knowing that this, this doesn't mean anything. So like, you know, YouTubers all talk about like the best months and like advertising and shit like that. You know, you could have a good month where you might make, you know, and this was me. Like, you know, I got good views, but they weren't like unbelievable. Uh, but like, you know, in November, December, if I, if I upload it every day, you know, I could get, I could make $15,000 off ad revenue, maybe a little bit more. 
if I fucking did really well in a couple of videos. And then you have, you know, all of your sponsorships that could be another, you know, everything combined might be another 10. So it's like, I'm, you know, you walk away from being able to sit in your room and play video games and like upload YouTube videos and you can make well over a hundred thousand dollars every single year. I mean, that's like, you know, a lot of people's dream, but again, what I realized is it's like the money does matter. I don't want to, I don't want to say that it doesn't, but money can only get you so far. And if you, if you're doing something that you don't like, or that you don't think is great, or that you don't find purpose in, um, <laughs> it won't matter. Who's you're not going to care about it. it. You won't. Um, and so that's just a very fucking long winded way of saying I wanted more and that's what I got. Um, what else could I talk about? Um, yeah, I probably look different a little bit. Um, fucking boom. Um, yeah, i I go to the gym now. Um, that was another thing. My, my, my physical health and my mental health were fucking terrible. Cause again, you're just, it, it like, I don't need to keep harping on the reasons why they were, why they were ass, but they fucking were, they were not good. Um, and I, you know, I started going to the gym, having fucking no idea what I was doing, literally not even a clue. Um, and I felt like in the last maybe year is when I really started to hit my stride in the gym and like understand, you know, like uh, what I was doing and actually make progress and everything. Um, so I, I did that and that's been a fucking blessing. Um, what else? Plants of the future, I guess. Um, I don't think I'll ever come back to Madden. I know that's probably not what you guys want to hear. Um, but that's the truth. Um, I don't think I'll ever come back. I think it was a, uh, unbelievable chapter in my life. I think it was something that I would not trade for the world. I think it was like literally some of the best years of my life. Um, uh, you know, uploading YouTube videos and even the Madden house that we had and, in Memphis with Wheels and Vic and my brother, like th those, like those times, those were fucking incredible, and I wouldn't trade them for anything. Um, but I, I think that that specific chapter in my life is done. I don't, I don't think that that's, um, I don't think that's gonna come back. Now, that's not to say that I won't be on social media because, like, I have Instagram and I, I, I post on Instagram. I post my story like a lot. Um, you guys can follow. I don't give a fuck, but it's the same as my fucking YouTube name. Um, I post on uh, TikTok all the time. Same as my YouTube name, like just random ass fucking shit. Um, I, I sometimes post on Twitter. Not really. Um, I'm not going to be gone from social media. I'm going to be gone from playing Madden and uploading Madden on social media. That's, that is, that's the truth. That's what's going to happen. Um, I think that's it. I think that's everything I got. Like, I'm really trying to think if there's anything else that I wanted to say of like where I've been and everything. Oh, okay. I got a couple other things. So two other things. One, um, I still see your guys' comments on my videos. I really don't look at my YouTube studio app like ever anymore, but you know, every couple months I'll check back and look and I see a lot of people are like upset and disappointed that you know, I haven't been posting and I get it. I a hundred percent get it, which is kind of the real reason why I'm making this video. Cause I feel like I owe it to you guys. I literally tried to make this video like a year, maybe like a year and a half ago. I tried to, it was like last summer, like before last summer I tried and it just, I, I didn't like it. I it felt bad. It felt like I was like telling a story that wasn't that I didn't know, I, it wasn't complete. It wasn't even halfway complete. It wasn't even like, I didn't even know what I was saying. I was just talking. Um, and I, I, I scrapped it. I was like, ah, this is not it. This is not good. Um, but I don't know this, this time it feels different. This time it feels a lot better. Um, I don't know. It feels good. Uh, and, and, and what was the other thing I was going to say? Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> this is actually kind of funny. Um, I've like seen a lot of you guys out in public, like, you uh, you guys i've seen multiple uh, there's been multiple times where people have come up to me um like i can just remember one time like on a saint patrick's day i was at this bar downtown and uh 
my guy Mitchell came up to me. That was like last year. And uh, he was like, hey, what's up? Uh, you know, are you Mike? And I was like, I am Mike. That's that's my name. And he was like, what, do you do the YouTube? And I was like, oh, yeah. And I was like, well, I don't fucking upload anymore. But like, yeah, that was me. And it was really cool. And like, I've met a couple of you guys at this like gas station that I go to. Um, I've met a couple of you guys just like out and about. And uh, yeah, like, don't be afraid to come up and say what's up. Like, it's not weird or awkward since I don't really post anymore. In fact... <laughs> I have friends get a kick out of it every time. It's pretty funny. Um, but yeah, I don't really think I have anything else. I think that's it. So probably going to be the last YouTube video on this channel for a long time. I don't know. If I have a crazy update, I'll tell you guys. But if you really want to stay in touch with me, Instagram and TikTok, I'm telling you. Instagram and TikTok are like my two big things. Instagram is the biggest one. That's probably where I post the most if you guys want to see what I've been up to and and whatnot. But yeah, that's it. How long have I been talking? 26 minutes. There's probably a lot that I don't have to put. So it's probably gonna be like a 20 minute video. Well, you got a 20 minute video out of good old Mike. There you go. All right. Um, Fuck, I don't even remember my outro. Oh my god, it's been so long since I've done this. What do, what did I what do I normally say? It was like uh I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of sad that I don't remember it. So we're just going to we're just going to not think about it for a little bit. And uh I'm just going to end the video. So hopefully you guys did enjoy watching this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace. I think that was right. Goodbye.